today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's the AFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. It's a sight that has seen more than its fair share of great playoff memories the last few days. Decades and more could be in store as we've got playoff football again at sold out Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Indianapolis Colts and the New England Patriots. And he returns this to the 22. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. They're led by their six-year quarterback out of North Dakota State, a former Pro Bowler, Carson Wentz. And if he and his guys want to spring the upset here in the second round and move on, they've got to focus on the good that they did in the wild card victory. At the top of that list, protecting the football. Got a little careless last week. A few got away from him. Might not be so fortunate this time around. And if that's the case, they'll end up going home. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Wentz going to give this to Taylor. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Open man is Taylor, he's got it. And he is gonna have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game, he's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Wentz to throw. That's into the hands of Pascal. And after the nice stiff arm, the next wave swarms in quickly for the stop. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped out a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. He'll give to Taylor on the draw. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Gunnar Olszewski deep for New England. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. So here are the Patriots now backed up a bit to start their first drive. They'll be led by the Heisman finalist from a season ago, the rookie from Alabama, Mac Jones. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round buy earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up, so he could use the rest. And I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one. Because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. And they show run with three tight ends here on first down. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. A first carry here for J.J. Taylor. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. 
end result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Hey, Charles, you look at this offense, they're the number one seed, a Super Bowl favorite, but it's hard to avoid the topic that this is a rookie quarterback under center making his first ever postseason appearance. Any concern level there? Well, I would think that we'd all have some concern because, you know, a rookie quarterback, that's just not normal, right? But I think I'd be a lot more concerned if they were the six or seven seed and had to go on the road and play in a hostile environment if it was cold outside. But here you've got a guy who's been solid all year, led them to all those wins, number one seed. I think they have unquestioned belief in him. They also feel like they have a responsibility to help carry him along as well. Throwing Jones. Rolling to his left. And that's caught left side by the tight end, Keen. Seven yards to pick up there. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Now Jones. And this one complete to Smith. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. And that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Off the play fake, Jones, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor, and he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. They got a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Jones throw hauled in by Westbrook Akine here. They'll contain him to just four, second down. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Looking to throw, Jones. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Dalton Keene there to make the grab and the Patriots are on the board first here in this division round matchup I'll let you do the analysis partner but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had I just continue to be more and more impressed let's both do the analysis impressed aren't we both yeah I mean why shouldn't we be we've seen him improve throughout the year we've seen him settle in now and you can see the confidence of the team has grown his confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. They're forced to play catch-up early in this division round game as they search for a seat in the AFC Championship round. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. 
Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Anthony Jennings in there to get him. It's a loss of five. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options. And while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Patriots take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Play of the drive there is incomplete. There are always so many storylines when you're playing January football. And Charles, you talk about this offense, their head coach. It's his first time in charge in the playoffs. And I think you and I were both kind of surprised by his demeanor and specifically his comments and his confidence at the press conference where he really all but guaranteed a victory. Yeah, I was a little bit taken aback because you don't normally see that. And on one hand, it's like, all right, cool. He feels great about his team. But on the other hand, Alvin is in his best interest to do that. How many playoff games has he won again, Brandon? None. So there's your answer right there. I guess what he was trying to do was fire up his team. But he has to make sure he doesn't fire up the other guys because there have been a lot of coaches who've made guarantees that are no longer coaching in this league. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second down now, it's Taylor. And he gets it down to the 32. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling to his... And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Quinny Pay showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. To try again after the sack. Jones looking for Harry. He airs it out deep. And it is incomplete. I had a defender running right with him. And now it's third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. Well, oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force him work down. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Only needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. Johnson, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is like usual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Check, 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 check. 
They'll look to run with Taylor. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. J.J. Taylor. Fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Patriots have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Fulk connects on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Now left side on the swing pass. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Throwing now is Wentz. And this pass broken up. But the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's looking like none on this one either. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 46. On the handoff, Taylor, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's taken down inside the 30. 57 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Here's Jones on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Taylor. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? 
And here he'll get it down to the seven. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. From the gun, Jones. Uh, he's got it. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Taylor is into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have to. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They get him that time thanks to the safety blitz as he saved for a loss of four. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It's about when you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Wentz's throw here pulled in by Hilton. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Running left, Taylor. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. The Colts on third down. Two for five to this point. This time it's third and three. Working from the gun, Wentz. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Play action. Jones completing it to the right side. Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, they've certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the fullback. It just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. And he'll be 
taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 84 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. He used the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Back to throw, Jones. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. On the draw is Taylor, fights him off. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Now a give to Taylor, and he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Jones on first and 10. So right, and that's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. The first down carry here for Johnson. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. And folks, kick is good. And the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? Carson Wentz in the cold offense, ready to go back to work. And yeah, maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure... The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Second down, another run with Taylor. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The Colts on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 11. Now wins. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. 37 yards on the puck with no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading out of the field again. He's in his own second quarter already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, 
That's all you're looking for, but he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand-yard mark. I'm wondering, since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to up that a little. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Open man, Westbrook Aquino. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. 110 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this divisional round matchup. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now Taylor. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. On the handoff, this is Taylor. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. It's no accident they've been moving the ball well all game long. This offensive line has done an excellent job adapting to everything the defense is throwing at them and creating holes for their runners. divisional round matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This fourth and final matchup on this divisional round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back to Saturday's AFC divisional round game. And it's the Cleveland Browns who will fight on as they knock off the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, in our game, we've got one half remaining to find out who goes on to the AFC title game. And to bring it all to you, let's send it back out to Brandon Goss. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Winner go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC divisional round. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, they may get even bigger plays in the passing game. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Go, go, go. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. Johnson with a burst, a first down and more. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Now Jones throwing on first down. And his throw is incomplete. 
That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and he'll force the incompletion. They go back to the ground with Johnson. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Touchdown, Patriots! Matthew Slater from 13 yards out. And the Patriots continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. So, my man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Buyer, beware. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. They turn to the fullback, Gillespie. Room to run past midfield. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there. 64 yards, and the Colts are able to draw a bit closer. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good, and the lead drops from 34 down to 27. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. Taking it about the one. A dangerous return man showing it here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Still well in control of this ball game despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 40 now on second down, Jones. That's complete to Westbrook Akine. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield, and there's another completion. Space to run past the 20. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. A big play there for the Patriots. I'm seeing a lot of guys shaking their heads on defense right now, particularly in the secondary. And when you see that going on, that is never a good sign. But and he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Dearness Johnson taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots continue to roll. Extra point up and good by Fulton. And that will extend this big lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Bailey now to 
to kick it away after the touchdown. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Brandon, you know how we talk about having wrinkles in a game plan? That was a fold right there. How about that play? Being able to change things up. You think anyone else on the team's going to get the ball? And in that situation, they surprise everyone and give it to their big guy. Yeah, and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Defense. Hey, we won't do what we do. And yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. It's a gain of three, and it sets him up with second and just two yards to go. A give the first man through Gillespie of the fullback. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. They'll go option to the short side. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. On second and 12, Wentz. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Going for Hilton, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Fulk connects on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. It's time for our player's spotlight right now as we get a look at Carson Wentz. And he has not really been able to have a lot of comfort back there in the pocket. Pressure's been coming at him a lot, hasn't it? And they've got to figure out how to tamp down that pressure. How do they decrease it? Is it getting rid of the football quicker? You know, shorter drops? Maybe they do something different with their pass blocking and their protection schemes. Maybe you meet them on the line of scrimmage instead of retreating to try and protect your quarterback. They've got to figure something out, though, because you cannot let your guy get hit that much. Not if you intend to win. Yeah, I know they'd like to erase that video and those four sacks that they've seen so far. Well, to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leans towards admiration. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. To throw his wins. Buying time to his left. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. And wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. 
Watson's going to throw. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 47, and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now a handoff, Johnson. Room here to run. Fullback, 49 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that will extend this big lead. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it's just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. On play action, Wentz. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Second and 10. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Wentz now to throw. Throws this one right side to Pascal. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. As a defense, you're more bounced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big-time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. To throw on second and six. Jones. Johnson's got it complete. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game. But in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. to advance to the AFC title game. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Watch the screen. Pass. 58. They stay on the ground on first for Johnson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Yeah, 
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He gets this one to Johnson. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 85 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he is trying to will his guys to the championship round next weekend. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off the play fake, Jones. On the move to his left. Do what we do! And inside the 20 before he's brought down. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. The run got four. Now they deal with it. Second and six. They go to Johnson again. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Johnson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Dearness Johnson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots are drawing closer to a date in the AFC title game as they extend this fourth quarter lead. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. A 10-play drive that time, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. To throw, it's Wentz. He'll drop this down to Taylor. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And now, oh boy, that's Jonathan Taylor. He is still down on the field. The Colts on third down. Just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This is third and four. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Throwing on first is Wentz. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he's brought down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Now they can't bring him down. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Here's second and ten. Now Wentz. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. 
He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. So tackle him almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays. Hard to move them. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Blankenship's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute, they want their opportunity, and he seized his. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And it would appear that that first round by certainly helped. They've looked fresh from the start and no letdown here as they lead big in this divisional round and they look to book a spot in the conference championship. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. They'll run it with Johnson. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. He takes this for three to the 29. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. New England on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Yeah, boy, from up here, I don't think Johnson got there. No, he did not. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Here's a 20th carry for Johnson. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves, you're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's a give to the fullback. That's Johnson. And he's taken down inside the 30. This is where, you know, fourth quarter, you got the lead, you give it to the big guy. Defensively kind of sucks the will out of them, doesn't it? Because they don't want to tackle him right now this late in the game. Well, you say that with accusatory tones. I mean, <laughs> you know, but you're exactly right. I know it's not something we actually want to talk about, but as a defender, four quarters worth of trying to bring people down, four quarters worth of pounding, and now late in the game, here comes that big guy coming at you, and a lot of guys are wondering whether they want to come up and make that tackle at this stage of the game. Again, idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. 
They'll run on first down. Johnson. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. I know you're trying to wring every yard out of a run, but I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you'll need one yard. Keep that. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Now they knew this would be tough on the road, divisional round, and that has certainly been the case with the deficit they face in this fourth quarter. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. Wentz now on first down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Wentz. This goes out right to Doyle. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now Wentz on third down. This is caught by Hilton. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, it's Wentz. And that will be incomplete as well. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Blankenship's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. New England trying to get a place on offense. If they can finish this one out, they'll book a date in the AFC title game next Sunday. And it looks good so far as they try to run some clock here in this fourth quarter. like he'll throw here sliding out of the pocket now he'll let it go deep right side a fight for it and this is caught what a catch a big play there for the Patriots the Patriots will take their third and final timeout and as the two teams chalk it over on their respective sidelines we take a break so the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Looking to throw, Jones. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. 
They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays, keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Kicks it on the ground with a squib, taking around the 28. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship, and now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. That'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. Tonight, from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's the AFC Championship game on EA Sports.